Begin by connecting the toaster to power. Wait approximately one minute for the toaster to power up. After one minute, check the network status connection by pressing and holding the program and down arrow buttons. Once the display changes, press the program button until net zero appears. Net zero will change to net two on the screen. If net zero does not change to net two, wait another minute. Then try to check the network status again. If net zero still does not change to net two, contact your IT department to troubleshoot possible network settings. Press program to display ADDR. This will provide the MAC address of the unit. Press the down arrow. The display will change to a group of four characters. Write these down. Press the down arrow again to display the next group of characters. Repeat this step until you have gone through all three screens. There are 12 characters total for the MAC address of the unit. Once the full MAC address is noted, move to a Wi-Fi enabled device such as a laptop, cell phone, or tablet. Go into the Wi-Fi settings. Go to WLAN. Look for a network with a name that starts with VCT underscore, and then the 12 digits that were recorded from the toaster previously. The display will prompt for a password. The password is Y-U-M-I-0-T-1-2-3-4, exclamation point. Touch to connect. Once the unit is connected, the device will show connected, no internet, under the settings. This is normal. Exit the Wi-Fi settings to continue. Move to a web browser, such as Chrome or Safari. Type in the following address, 192.168.45.1. This will take you to Antunas Digital Login Screen. Log into the site using the following credentials. For the login, a D M I N. For the password, P at five five W zero R D. Press login to continue. On the next page is a form that should be filled out. The first thing to enter is the unit serial number. This is found on the unit's product spec label that is found on the back panel of the toaster. Next, enter a location of the unit if required. Please note this step is optional. Next, enter the Wi-Fi SSID. In the test unit shown, the SSID is YUM2. Enter the Wi-Fi password used to log into the Wi-Fi. For the remainder of the fields listed, please refer to your IT department for more information. Once the page is completely filled out, scroll down and press Update. The page should read, Success! Device settings updated successfully. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Press Task Complete. Please note that you must press the Update button before pressing Task Complete. Once complete, the web page will reset and display an error page. This is normal operation. Return to the unit. On the unit, check the network status connection by pressing and holding the program and down arrow buttons. Once the display changes, press the program button until net three appears. This confirms that the changes have been successfully completed. The unit now has IoT active.